All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing out there? Now, let me go ahead and admit before I get started with this video, I am a tad bit confused on what the heck is going on here. Now, we all know, I think I was one of the first to talk about this on my platform a few, was a few months ago, right before Young Dolph dropped Role Model. Young Dolph ain't what is to be said is an eight figure deal, right? It's an eight figure deal in which I was told that Young Dolph will still own his masters, but Dolph did something that a lot of us thought he would never do. I'm from Memphis, I mean, I grew up on Young Dolph, right? He did something that I, a lot of us thought he would never do just the way, if you listen to Young Dolph's music, he's always preached his independence and not signed a deal. He agreed to a partnership with Empire. I kind of broke the deal down uh, I kind of, and this, I wasn't told this. I really actually couldn't find out a lot about the deal, but I, I kind of figured it was one of those things where Young Dolph is just going to have a machine that is pushing his music. And again, if you're able to still find a way to own your masters, even though you signed an eight figure deal with a company, that's pretty darn good. So whatever partnership Dolph has signed with Empire, I'm sure it gives him somewhat of some creative control. I'm sure it allows him a financial means so he doesn't have to come out of his pocket to fund his artist and their project. Young Dolph's growing that label, man. Key Glock is on the rise. So I'm sure with Empire, the partnership included money to fund those things, his projects going forward. And in return, he's got to be able to produce some record sales and, and, and other ways to cope that money back that Empire partnered up with Dolph with, right? So I thought it was a good deal. It just kind of shocked me because Young Dolph has pretty much made a career of not signing, or he, that's pretty much one of the things that he's always rapped about is being a boss and not wanting to sign with anyone, right? He turned down a $22 million deal right before that and announced that he said, fuck the 22 mil, and then he agreed to this deal with Empire a couple weeks later. Now, Young Dolph sent out some cryptic tweets. One tweet not as cryptic as the other one, but um, there might be a little bit of trouble in paradise. Apparently, Young Dolph, has a project, it's either a project or a single, my guess it's a project entitled Smurfing that's on the way. And apparently Young Dolph wants to do what Dolph has always did. He wants to throw this bad boy in the atmosphere and let his fans, and Dolph has a very loyal fan base all down south through Texas, randomly throughout the West Coast. Dolph gets it in, right? So he's got a tape, I believe, that he wants to put out with no single, no nothing. And I'm guessing the label is not on board with this plan because Dolph tweeted this out a day ago. He said, the record label been bullshitting. They won't let me drop any new music. I knew, and he put this in all caps, I should have never signed this fucking deal. All right, Dolph went on to say, I'm going to leak this motherfucker. Fuck him. And then with one last tweet, and this was the cryptic tweet that I couldn't really figure out. I'll tell y'all what I think in a second. He said, I have a confession. I signed two deals in 2018 and signed a deal in 2015. And as I make this video, literally as I make this video, Dolph just tweeted again. So now that it's out, I'm not some big independent superstar and I've signed four deals like everyone else. I wonder if all the rappers gonna stop hating now. Sorry for shitting on you guys. No, damn well I got a major deal. I'm confused. I'm lost. At first I was gonna say, it doesn't sound like Young Dolph got hacked because I know how Dolph types, right? I've followed his social media accounts for a very long time, but now it kind of feels like he might've got hacked. I'm confused as hell. Look, here's what I do know. If the original tweets about the record label been bullshitting are uh, actually Young Dolph, that's super interesting to me. And I'm super curious to see how Young Dolph approaches this situation going forward because He's been such an artist that has kind of did his own thing, moved at the beat of his own drum, and never had to worry about higher ups telling him when to drop music, when not to drop music. And because he now has a label that's on his ass. In my opinion, one of the great things about Down South artists, for the most part, is that they have an organic relationship with the fans. A lot of this stuff from, you know, being down south and being in the hoods in the south, you can't fake it. 
a lot of times the music just organically touches with the people. Sometimes you're hot. Sometimes you're not. Sometimes niggas feel like you're too mainstream. Sometimes people want to get behind your mainstream record because they feel like you've been grinding your ass off. It's just an organic relationship that I see with a lot of down south acts that they have with their fan base. And you put a guy like Young Dolph in this position where the label is saying we need a single. Most artists that I see down south, they don't perform well when pressure is on them to produce a single, the beauty of their relationship with their fans is it's an organic thing. You couldn't have told me five years ago, Preach would have been a hit record, right? It just organically happened for him. And in a couple other records that have taken off for Young Dolph, they've just been organic. The joint with OT Genesis, I know that was OT's record, but it just was an organic takeoff of a record. You can't start trying to put pressure on artists like Dolph he doesn't he never needs a hit he's got a fan base that's gonna come pull up to his shows regardless all right he he never needs a hit and now with the pressure to produce a hit i can see why he's not gonna like that they put out records i'm not saying that they don't throw out singles they do throw out singles but a lot of artists in Dolph's position they put out records because they want to put out records they put out a single because they want to put out a single sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't no harm, no foul, because they got this great catalog of, of records over the last few years that the fans rock with. But now you're pretty much putting pressure on Young Dolph to provide a single, and you're probably not going to want, if you're the label, and you didn't gave Dolph all this money for this partnership, you're probably not going to want to drop a Dolph project until you feel like the single has pushed, picked up enough steam. And if you're Dolph and you're sitting on his project, knowing how Dolph works, he might have three or four projects already in the canon. At some point, he's going to get frustrated. But because he signed that paperwork, I'm not sure if he could just buy his way out of this deal. And he might just be in a position where he is forced to put out a single. We will see. I'm going to monitor this situation closely with his tweets, though. He might come out in a couple hours and say I was hacked. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, super interesting. Young Dolph is upset with his label. He said, look, pretty much, they bullshitting. They won't let me drop any music. He said, I knew I should have never signed. They wanted to have a single. And right now, he's saying he just wants to drop a project. And I believe the project is this smurfing bad boy that the cover art of it, that shit looks amazing. And I would love to hear it. So we'll see what happens. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. Got the kids, they you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.